Before we can actually start making requests, there is another important concept that we have to understand with Angular, and that's the Angular services. So when you build an Angular application, your application is going to have multiple different components. So you can have a user component and you might have like a profile component. And that's just the way that the architecture of Angular is. You build your UI using multiple different components and you just make those components work together. Now, let's say you want to fetch data from your backend API or your backend web service so that you can display this data in your component. Now, you're not going to have every single component in your application making HTTP requests. What Angular comes up with is this idea of creating a service. So you have that one space where you have your services and every component that needs a specific information can reach to a specific service to get this information. So in this example that I'm showing you right now, we have a user component and let's just assume that this component is displaying information about like a list of users. And then we have another component that's the profile component where we're showing information about one specific user. So you can see those two components, even though there are two separate components, they're requesting information about users. So we can create one service. In that case, we're going to call it our user service. And inside that service, we can have maybe two functions, one to return the list of all the users for the user component, and then another one for the profile of one specific user. So that way your code is more organized and you're not using every single component to make HTTP requests because you have one service that's making the request and every component can reach to that specific service if they need that specific data from that service. So what we're going to be doing in our application, we're going to create a service and then inside that service, we're going to start writing our code to make HTTP calls.